Man, this heat wave just never ends. Let's go out for a change. To the beach! Yeah, to the beach! Under the bed! Yeah, under the bed. You sure like to work out a lot. Yep, pushing your body to its limits. There's no feeling like it. Doesn't it hurt? It does, a lot. The pain reminds us that we are here, still alive. Hey, Chuck, what principles do you follow in your workout? Work hard, eat hard, and sleep hard. Oh, and never skip leg day. Uh, are you sure you've been following that last one? What do you mean? There's no way I can skip these bad boys. You know, Jock, sometimes I wish I was as strong as you. So I wouldn't have to depend on my wits alone. Uh, well, sometimes I wish I was as smart as you. Since physical strength can only get you so far. It's a good thing we hang out together. We get the best of both worlds. Indeed. Hey, Jock! Wanna hit the gym? Sure! <laughs> Come on, buddy! You can do it! Did you have a nightmare again? Not really, but in this one, our bodies were switched! I couldn't even lift a bar! <laughs> Doesn't sound that bad to me. I haven't looked that thin in ages! But for real, I wouldn't mind taking that journey again! Nerd! Huh? I think there's a monster under my bed! Can you check? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> really fun- <laughs> Snow, please! Seconds, please! What is he smirking about? I have never seen you smiling while cleaning. What are you listening? Hey! Spice Girls? I, I can explain! It just so happened to come on! It's not like I have a full playlist of their songs! Are you going to put this on speaker or what? If, if you, you want to be, be my lover, lover you, you gotta, gotta get, get with, with my, my friends. friends! Hey, nerd! What you doing? Watching The Walking Dead. I see! I was thinking if you want to go out and throw some ball with me. Yeesh! What happened to you, man? You look terrible! Dude, you are burning hot! I know. Chicks love me. I mean you are sick! Oh. Lay down, bro. We better check your fever. 98? That doesn't sound too bad. This is in Fahrenheit, right? Stay here, bro! I'm going to make you some soup! I don't need shampoo... I'm not a very good cook, but how hard can it be? Let's see... Chicken, celery, carrots, pepper... Seems like we have all the ingredients! Except this one! A little nugget of imagination! Must be some sort of exotic spice! Here it comes! Fresh chicken soup! Thanks for taking care of me. That's what friends are for! Like that one time when you removed that big spider off my bed! Boy, that was quite an operation! This tastes really weird. What did you put in it? Just a few scoops away! The recipe lacks a protein! Are you sure that a six-year-old girl wanted a... Weightlifting set for Christmas, Santa Jock! Positive, my nerdy little helper! She told me yourself in this quirky little letter! This says Barbie. I think she meant a doll, not barbell. Uh, I thought it is slang for barbell! Ooh, cookies! What are we gonna do now? We can't let little Sally get nothing on Christmas! Don't shout! You might wake her! Santa, is that you? Did you bring me what I wished? Little Sally! There's been a slight misunderstanding. Wow! New Olympic Barbie and weights. Exactly what I wished for. Thanks, Santa. Oh, I guess I'm still hip with the kids!
Here's a TV so you can watch those weird Japanese cartoons. It's weird Japanese anime. Thank you very much. Also, some comics and books so you won't get bored. On top of that, I got your tissues for your runny nose. Anything else you need, pal? Just one thing. Can I have a straw so I can breathe? I don't know. I think we should get rid of these. Don't you worry, bro. If you still need something, I'll be closer than you think. Uh, 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 achoo! There's no Hey, nerd! Has this weird door always been there? Yeah, I always thought it was a broom closet or something. Let's see what's behind it! Whoa! What is this place? What's with these windows and labels? Look! It's us behind there! You're right! But there's something... off. And this one too! So weird! Oh! I know what this is! Have you ever heard of the multiverse theory? According to it, there is an infinite amount of universes with slight differences. This place seems to have windows that show them and- Whoa! Slow down there, professor! Multiverse theory is... Speed up! Speed up! Anyway, better not to touch anything. But at least we can look! Yeah! This universe seems to be a gender swap. Eh, I think my pecs are bigger. These guys look quite smart. I guess only people with superior intelligence can understand these fellows. What the heck, man? What? Why do you get to be the Millennium Falcon while I'm just an X-Wing? I'm... sorry? I think we've seen enough. Let's go. Wait, can I take something home? Are you nuts? Messing with other universes could have catastrophic consequences! Please! Not the puppy eyes! Ugh! Fine! Take an inane object so maybe it doesn't do much damage. You could have chosen Millennium Falcon, but you ended up with these? Woohoo! Look at them go! You know, Jock... Oh! Oh! They just keep going! There were tons of different universes in there, but... I don't think there was even one where we weren't friends. Hmm? Did you say something, Belle? Oh, nothing. You know, I've been thinking that we should form a band. Hey, I've been thinking that too. I've already practiced playing the guitar in secret. And I have been honing my singing skills every morning in the shower. This is going to be sweet. Let me show you my outfit. Me too. I heard he came up with a cool name for us. We, we shall, shall be, be Hells of Darkness. Oh, I think we got a problem in choosing our artistic vision. Or do we? And then they took the world by storm with their groundbreaking yodeling metal. Yodeling hee By the way, Jock, I think I have never seen you without your cap. Are you hiding a bald spot or something? Oh, of course not! Actually, it's my limiter! Limiter? My real power is so out of control that I need a limiter to suppress it! Like, I'm believing that! Give me that hat! Don't! Oh man, look what you did! That was my favorite shirt, you know! Huh? Let's put this back on. Let's! A limiter, huh? Now I understand the source of your immeasurable strength. I too must cast this feeble form away. And embrace my power that has been hidden! Well, do you feel more powerful? No, I can't see anything. Oh. I think a girl's been following us for a while now. Oh, really? Is she behind that creepy ghost? Look! Is that a love letter on your locker? It must be from that stalking ghost girl from earlier! This is heavy! I hope you don't get cursed or anything! Wow, a lot of text here. That was your locker. This is for you. Whoa! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! What's wrong? Feeling ill? You gotta help me, man! I don't know how to deal with this! What are you freaking about? 
I thought you were good with girls. I am, but not with g g ghosts. So, Mr. Doc, did you read my letter? Eep. Oh, yes. My little squire has been reading it for me. Oh, nerd, huh? Always hanging with my jock. Do you think I don't know what they say about you two? Dude, what is she talking about? Don't you ever read the comments? What comments? So, would you go out with me sometime, Jock? Sure, why not? I'll be wearing my garlic necklace then. I don't think she is a vampire. Well, at least my Uncle Silver Buckle will come in handy. I don't think she is a werewolf either. Yeah, I'm not really sure what she is. I knew Lord Cthulhu's charm would not let me down. You gotta help me, man. I don't know how I would survive a date alone with her. Why didn't you say no then? I have a hard time saying no to people, especially girls and supernatural beings. I see. Anyway, can I have that last piece of gum you have? Sure, pal. Wait a minute. I see what you did there. But I'm giving it to you anyway, because that's what good boys deserve. I'm a good boy. So you are really going on a date with that stalker? That's the plan. I mean, she is kind of weird, but I bet she's a nice gal. Shouldn't we always give others a fair chance? Soon, my dear Chuck, we will be together forever.